Star Wars Galaxy of Hero Players, this is Andy Tashorto, and today I'm going to be covering the reworks of General Kenobi, Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker, and Ahsoka Tana. And these are just light kit touch-ups, and I'm fine with that, and they're going to be rewording some things here and there, but it's nice that they're doing a kit touch-up right now. Um, there's still some things I've yet to get, like Zeta, so I'm going to go back and forth between the two, and go from there. So... The first change, obviously, all the changes are in green. Um, dispel all debuffs on all allies and grant them the opposite buffs, if any, for two turns. All allies that were not debuffed gain retribution for two turns. Then he gains 60% turn meter. That is up from 50% turn meter. And it says the grant them the opposite buffs for two turns, if any. They just reworded the if any for two turns. They kind of reworded it a little bit, which is better. Um... Lead the charge. Deal physical damage to target enemy and grant a random other ally offense up for two turns and call all other buffed allies to assist, dealing 30% less damage, which Anakin and Ahsoka do not, are not affected by damage penalty. So that's the change on that. His leader did not change. It still says the same thing, unfortunately. So he's not a leader, a Zeta leader yet. Unless they're going to just make him an Omega and touch that up down the road. Which they could initially do. Which I'm kind of disappointed. Because <clears throat> I can see these. Um, so, attacker, support, and tank. Clones don't have a healer as of yet at least. At the recording. I don't know if we'll ever get a clone later this year. Um, but if we get or a healing clone. If we do, I assume they'll probably gain stealth just as well. That could be worded in. And this also could have been worded in with um, with uh, Jedi as well. This ability, should take, they kind of share both abilities. But I didn't make that. So, And then finally, Sarisu, like I said, there's not much changes. He could have gained something. Like they could have gone 70%. Um, giving him something else. But the Zeta says if all allies are Galactic Republic... Kenobi taunts for one turn whenever another galactic ally loses to any protection up. So there's not much. So if you Zeta him, um, when Yoda uh, attacks his multiple times on Jedi Knight Revan teams and loses that, he's going to taunt again. That's going to make for such an annoying taunter in General Kenobi. He doesn't get any buff to his stats, which I think it would have been nice to see, but at the same time, he's really buff as is. Maybe some tenacity or something. But he's going to taunt more frequently Zeta under Jedi Revan teams. So keep that in mind. All right, let's talk about Jedi Anakin. There's a little more changes to his kit. Uh, even naming changes. Okay, so Death Blade work, work. Deals physical damage with an 80% chance to inflict healing immunity and buff immunity for two turns. And I think that was 70. So it's up from... It went up 10%. Oops, I'm going to throw one. <laughs> so, then is overpowering assault. Deal physical damage to all enemies. Think around all allies. Offense, crit chance up for two turns. Two turns. For each enemy critically hit, grant protection up 10% stacking for each Galactic Republic ally for one turn. This attack can't be evaded. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. So, that's good. And Anakin was just, you know... Critical chance up 25% and gain offense up for two turns. So he also became exposed if he didn't get any critical hits. They dropped that. that that's a good thing. That was kind of a, a weakness to his kit. And it used to be called Reckless Assault. So they kind of changed it. So that's good. Um, and then leader on the offense, Jedi and clone allies have plus 30% offense, 20% crit damage. And all other allies have half this amount. 30% offense. Okay, they just reworded it. He still is the same. For the most part. So, And then his Righteous Fury. He didn't get a Zeta. Wait, well, Jedna Anakin. He could have gotten a Zeta with his unique. But he didn't. He just had a touch-up. Whenever another ally falls below 50% health or is defeated, Anakin takes a bonus turn. And his next attack deals 100% more damage. Hmm, that's interesting. 
75% more damage. Gains 100% turn meter. So if you notice, I did do a video talking about Darth Malak's rework, and they were talking about turn meter gain. Instead, they decided, whoops, they decided to give him a bonus turn instead. Instead of a bonus turn meter, it's bonus turn. So he's automatically a bonus turn. So that's, that's what they did. That's what they did with him. So that's Anakin. Now Ahsoka. The one thing I'm still disappointed with is they could have changed this part. The leader did not change. But they could have changed her leadership to clones just to support that. I don't know why it supports the Night Sisters. Why, CG? Why? But anyways, so her basic was once called Energetic Slash. Now it's Focused Slash. Unless they're going to be taking some of these names for other versions of themselves. I don't know. Deal physical damage, target enemy. And dispel all buffs on them. On a critical hit, dispel all debuffs on Ahsoka and a ra another random Galactic Republic ally. This attack can't be evaded if the target has foresight. That's good. So that's cool. That's a unique thing I like about this. It can be evaded if they have foresight. If they don't have foresight, there's a chance it can be evaded by, you know, leadership evasion. But if, if not, like, so as long as, like, Darth Sidious, for example, doesn't have foresight, this attack has a chance to miss. So that's kind of cool. And I let, I hope they kind of do more with this than, than just say this ability can't be evaded. You know, I think we've got too many characters with too many abilities like that. So hopefully they go in a direction this way. Um, and then, of course, this was her basic recovers health. That's They kind of got rid of that. There's no health recovery, which is kind of annoying. But she did have a high health steal. Like, um, let's see. Right here, 35% health still. That's huge. I would like to see more ways of health still being put in for other characters, but eh, whatever. Protective Maneuver. Deal physical damage target enemy. If Anakin or Kenobi are allies, deal bonus damage again. And if they're both allies, deal third time. So if at least one of them's an ally, you deal extra damage if it's, you know, two allies. So it's almost turning into her whirlwind on the Fulcrum Ahsoka in one way or another, but not as strong as War Whirlwind. If the le ally leader is Galactic Republic, this attack deals 50% more damage. All allies recover 20% health, and all Galactic Republic allies gain protection up 20% for one turn. So they did give her ally, you know, ally recovery there still. All allies recover health equal to 30%, where she didn't have a lot of health to begin with. You know, at least they, you know, changed it. Um, you know, all allies recover 20% of their health. So for tanks, it's a little bit more than an attacker's. So that's hugely different. Again, disappointed. And her, oh, her leader is Omega. So she did not, no, she got a Zeta. The only one that didn't get a Zeta was Jenna Anakin, which is weird. Um, unless these are yet to be changed, they might be doing that. We'll see. So Daring Padawan, Ahsoka has plus 40% max health, 10% evasion, 10% crit chance, and 25 speed. These values are doubled when she has critical hit immunity. And then if Jedi like, ally, blah, 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 blah. if Anakin is an ally, Ahsoka gains critical hit immunity for two turns at the start of each encounter and whenever she uses a special ability. Hmm. So 45% health, 45 speed, and 15% crit chance. So this is 40 health. If she has critical immunity, it's 80 health. Speed is now 50, so they, they've upped it in a different, unique way. Also, if the ally is Galactic Republic, Ahsoka is called to assist whenever another Galactic Republic ally uses a, a special ability. So that's, that's cool. So these are the kits for the new Ahsoka, Anakin, and Obi-Wan. Again, this Zeta, this leadership did not get a Zeta, which I was kind of disappointed in, but they may add that later on down the road. Um, he just got better with Jedi, Grandmaster Yoda under a Jedi Knight Revan team. So that's that's crazy. Um, yeah, so that is it. Unfortunately, this did not get a Zeta, which they may be holding off for some of these. They're just going to do a light rework. Give some more boost to some of these characters. And I like them so far. Um, nothing too overpowering. Uh, we will. I'm sure some people will try using them in Arena. Uh, obviously, let's see. Anakin's leadership. 
is probably now a general Kenobi's leadership still the best especially if you decide to run fives in there and another tank or a healer like Barris because Ada Barris is still really good under this under his lead so we'll just have to see what happens other than that let me know what you guys think in the comments below about these um, these reworks I will have the uh, these kit touch-ups in the description below Thanks for watching. I really appreciate all those watching videos I make, and you guys have a phenomenal day.